Hello everyone. The we started with the topic cross applications, and in this full series, we studied two major cross applications. One is BAPI, and another is IDOC. We took one requirement, and we achieved that requirement using BAPI with IDOC interface. We migrated the employee data using BAPI with IDOC interface. In any implementation project, this is one of the best technique to migrate that data using BAPI with IDOC interface. Now, what is the purpose of this video? In this video, we will just go for a summary but our major focus is to just revise each and every table and transaction code what we covered in this full series. So the major motto of this video is to cover each and every table and transaction code what we discussed in this full series. When we started with our requirement, first thing what we did, we created the employee function module using SC37 transaction code. After that, what we did, we went to SW01 transaction code to create the business object of the function module. We went to SW01 and we created the business object of the function module. When we have the business object of the function module, it means it is a BAPI. And what is the transaction code to check the BAPI? We can check the BAPI through the transaction code BAPI. And we can say it is a transaction code for BAPI Explorer. So with the help of BAPI transaction code, you can check the BAPI. But the most important point we discussed at that point of time that in the BAPI transaction code, you can only only check the released BAPI. In the BAPI transaction code, you can only check the released BAPI. We covered at that point of time that BAPIs are defined in the business object repository. So in case of this, BAPI, we discussed two major tables. One is TOJTB, which is Business Object Repository Basic Data Table. If you want to go for detailed information of our business object, you have to go for SWOTLB table. Suppose if I will go for these two tables in TOJTB, you can check the basic information of your business object. Basic information of your business object. If you want to go for the detailed information of the business object, which we created, we can check into this table SWOTLB. So as a part of BAPI topic, we cover two major transaction codes and two major tables major transaction codes to create the business object SW01 to check the BAPIs, the transaction code is BAPI. What are those two major tables? TOJTB to check the basic data of our business object, to check the detailed data of our business object, the table is SWOTLB. Now, after creating the BAPI, what we did, we created the IDOC interface for the BAPI or you can say ALE interface for the BAPI. At that time, we covered one major transaction code and table. What is the transaction code to create ALE interface or IDOC interface for the BAPI? That is BDPG. With the help of BDBG transaction code, you can create the ALE interface or IDOC interface. 
then at that time we pass the name of our business object and method and these many things got created now whatever you created through bdbg everything is storing into which particular table tbdbe table so this is the table where the data is storing for the BAPI ALE interface or you can say BAPI IDOC interface. In this table TBDBE, if I will go to SC11, we have the data for BAPI IDOC interface. If I will check the table, it is clearly saying BAPI ALE interface for inbound processing. Then in this table, we checked each and everything but got created. Message type, IDOC type, inbound function module, segment type, etc. So in terms of BAPI with IDOC interface, we covered one major transaction code that is BDPG and one major table to store the data of BAPI IDOC interface is TBDPE. Then I now I will come on to the IDOCs. Okay. Now, when we created the IDOC interface through BDBG, so many things got created. And what are those things created? First one is your IDOC type or basic type. So if I will go to IDOC type or basic type, if I will go to IDOC type or basic type, if I will click, ultimately this is your which transaction code WE30. So WE30 is the transaction code to develop the IDOC types. Now, if you want to create message type, we have the transaction code is WE81. If I will click on to message type, the transaction code is WE81. If you want to create segment type, the transaction code is WE31 to develop the segment. Now, after that, we checked also if you want to, but where, what is the transaction code to store the mapping of IDOC type and message type? That is WE82. In WE82 transaction code, the mapping of IDOC type and message type is there. And that was there in, the, in WE82 transaction code. This is, this is our IDOC type and message type. Then we covered most important transaction code also in WE57 there is a assignment of the function module with our IDOC type and message type. If I will go to WE57, all these things created when we created when we created IDOC interface through BDBG transaction code. All these things done at that point of time itself. Now, I think system is hanged. I'll just wait. I will show you WE57. Yes, now WE57 opened. So now in WE57, we have the function module BAPI IDOC input one. In front of that, we have the mapping of our message type and IDOC type. If I will go to BAPI IDOC input one, this was the entry done at that point of time. And the transaction code is clearly, clearly saying it is an assignment of function module to message type and IDOC type. If I'll just scroll down. Little bit up just. So here we have the map assignment of function module to message type to IDOC type and message type. Now, after that, we created the port using WE21 transaction code. 
that what is the purpose of WE21? This is that transaction code for ports in IDOC processing. Then at that time, we created the TRFC port and file port. After that, we covered the WE20 transaction code. Through WE20 transaction code, we created the partner profile. And if you remember, when we created the partner profile, at that time, we put the so much stress on the logical system. And I told you that we have the transaction code PD54 to create the logical system. At that time, we created the logical system through BD54 transaction port. After that only, we can go for the same to same partner number here. We use the partner type logical system at that point of time. Now, after that, we come on to the a most important pro transaction course that is your process code. So if you want to go for inbound process code, that transaction code is WE42. For outbound process code, that transaction code is WE41. So we choose the inbound process code. In inbound process code in WE42, we choose the process code BAPI and which has the function module attached that play a vital role. We use this process code BAPI, which has this function module attached. And we saw the same to same function module in WE57. You can see this function module is binded to our IDOC type and message type. After that, yes, whenever we see the IDOCs, whenever we displayed the IDOC, we displayed through WE02 and WE05 transaction code. So then we covered two major transaction codes. WE19 act as a test tool for IDOC processing and to reprocess the IDOC, the transaction code is BD87. And we covered three major tables related to the IDOC. EDIDC for control record, EDID4 for, for data record, EDIDS for status record. And as a part of other transaction codes, yes, we created the logical systems through BD54 transaction code. And we discussed this SM59 also when we created the TRFC port, transactional RFC port. I told you that RFC connection should be maintained in SM59. After that, only we can create a TRFC port. So this is the full summary of the transaction code and tables, which we used in the full series, transaction code and tables related to the BAPI, transaction code and tables related to BAPI IDOC interface, transaction code and tables related to the IDOCs and what are the other transaction codes we used in this full series. So that's it in this video and we finished with this whole series. Thank you very much. Thank you.